Welcome back to Twits and Crits. Uh, we're gonna play some D&D. Who wants to remind me of what we did last time? I single-handedly killed a gorilla. All by yourself? All by myself. I killed a bridge. Yeah, we vacantly, valiantly vanquished a bridge. <clears throat> oh, also there was Wait, a bridge that died. Yeah. Yeah. How much That's, experience did we get for that bridge? Oh, oh shit, I think it, I told you last time. Yeah, we got 300 oh, experience. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where were we going? We were going um, to uh, Ula's Crown, Ula, I Ula's think. Crown? Is that, what, is that what's happening? Save the children. We're finishing up a short rest. I, we took care of the healing and stuff uh, mm -hmm. off camera. Um, so you guys set out and march generally in the direction yeah. of the tower. So you guys are going to stay on, on that quest. Oh, yeah, let's go to Ula's Crown. Yeah, we're going to keep getting continue. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I know we had this argument last valley. time. Playing the Twits and Crits theme song in MIDI yeah. on my laptop as a go. <laughs> Whole day mm. of straight hiking. If only some character had something that they had to do every single day that they could do now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's keep going. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, does anyone have any good conversation topics for the hike? I uh, I really like Shattercock's breasts. Uh, Whoa! No. Uh -huh. Where did that come from? Why would Neary? you say that out loud? That's not news at all. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of run. Like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. I'm really, oh, that's two things. I'm really embarrassed. You, you can't stack him up. <laughs> it doesn't smell like he's urinating. <laughs> Grimo uh, goes to the, to the little makeshift like shanty Myriadis has constructed as his bathroom. It's kind of like a couple, he builds wow. yeah, it's like a couple of like, big giant oh, branches that he's uh, put. And he, like, mm -hmm. he leaves like a little thing of like lotion there. Because oh, nice. Grimo he gets it. What, he gets it, what ingredients know? are lotion made out of? Oh, lots of, you know, avocado, oh, oh, yeah. uh, semen, yeah. semen. <laughs> sand. Oh, sand. Oh. Mariotis masturbates with Grimo's Mary. semen? I actually had to pee. I wasn't masturbating. <laughs> you say that? True. <laughs> As the sun, sun starts to set, you finally see what you believe must be Ula's crown. A bald, rocky mountaintop about 10 miles away. Uh, you can faintly make out a silhouette of these large stones coming out of the top of the, the peak. That is a boss layer if I've ever seen one. Are we we're sure we're up for this, yeah? A what? The witch, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Very powerful, probably at the top, cackling and scheming all the time. You mean the storm? The clouds? Yeah, the magical storm. I, I wonder if that I mean, witch is lonely like and can use some company. Duh. Oh, that, oh that, was his, that was his thing. Okay, all right, all right. So you reach the summit and finally get a good look at Ula's crown. A uh, gigantic 40-foot white stones sit evenly spaced around a circle at the peak, arcing into the air, kind of creating the tines of a, you know, what you imagine a crown. There's a bunch of carvings uh, around the stone. Uh, behind the stones are the remnants of a cathedral, uh, once the holiest of holies for some long dead religion. Yeah, it, now it's moss-covered. Uh, there's some vines on top of it. Uh, you know, looking old and tumble down. Uh, there's skeletons uh, and bodies of long dead creatures laying around in the clearing. Uh, between the ruins and the crown stone lies a small circular pool filled with an inky black liquid. Its surface shines like obsidian. A few Eerie. steps lead up <laughs> towards its rim. In the center of the pool rests a stone relief of an ancient giant's head. Carved above the mouth are a line of symbols. Show you guys what that looks like. So that's that's just what that looks like. I want to look at it because I have I'm a dwarf and I have stone cunning, <clears throat> which is a proficiency uh, intelligence checks related to the origin of stonework considered proficient in the history skill. Oh. Fifteen. Ooh. Uh, so he's here. Is that is he looking at this stone? I think he's looking at this. Looking this thing? At okay. Yeah, I don't to, know which one were you looking at. Well. Probably, yeah, that thing in the middle there. Okay. The the stone work looks extremely professional, but ancient. Uh, you're imagining some sort of uh, maybe ancient dwarven clan probably created this. Um, you know, it, it's so old, it's it's unspecific to you. Uh, I sense that everyone's a little uneasy, and to lighten the mood, I walk over to the skeleton and I stick my hand up his rib cage, make him like a little puppet. Mm -hmm. And so I'm holding him like this, kind of talking on the side of my mouth like, Hey everyone, it's me, Mr. Skittles. What do you, uh, what would you like to, I'll be your tour guide. Any questions? I'm gonna look at and that. And you're all out of talk. Look <laughs> down in my laptop. <laughs> I feel even more uneasy. Um, oh, well, welcome. I've got history and arcana. I don't know if that applies to either of these or arcana. Yeah, I mean, like, what are you trying to investigate? Uh, what the, what the wording is or where it's from, um, what the significance of it all is. Uh, but mostly just trying to decipher what the actual writing is. I push the skeleton closer to Decker's face. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you, you noticed some some strange magic around the pool. Okay. And the the language uh, you recognize matches the one on the giant's 
giant da, stone. Da, is that same thing? Yeah. Okay. And there, there's actually some other carvings of other languages in the rock. Shattercock's getting really bored, so she's gonna walk kind of out into the ruins here and just slowly explore things, maybe just sort of like around the edges. She doesn't feel like she wants to go to inside, but she's just kind of casing the joint, basically. Okay. You, you also see some other uh, carvings of uh, what looks to be uh, this phrase mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all around. Mrs. The, Skittles, the I got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why is this place so scary? Oh Tell me gosh. about it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <laughs> You're most loving this. I, I bow, I bow, and I try to throw the skeleton off, but now it's stuck. Oh, stuck to your... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now, I'm, now I have to stay in character. It's very okay. awkward. Rumo picks up like a stick on the ground, and he he kind of puts it inside the black goop. Nice. See okay. if there's any kind of reaction. So yeah, um, as you're walking up and everyone is is talking, you see the, the water bubbling and blurbling a little bit. Blurbling's a word. Um, but as soon as the, the stick connects with the liquid, it hardens just cool. like a rock immediately yeah. frozen. Awesome. At this point, Mr. Skittle's foot fell into the black goo and he goes, talk about a sticky situation. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I lean over and go, that's not even bone humor, Mr. Skittles. <laughs> the minute that stick Get went it? into the liquid and the liquid hardened, uh, all the skeletons around you actually start shifting a little bit. Fuck Ooh. yes! Um, Skelefight! Cool. Oh, ah, oh family uh, reunion! Yeah, it starts clopping at you. Yeah. Looks <laughs> like we're in trouble! Actually, <laughs> stop trying to eat yourself. I'm not! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna murder you! <laughs> I don't get it. What's the punchline? <laughs> oh fuck, we got skeletons! So, yeah, That's said These guys are okay. These guys are coming at you. Can he be my ally, too? Like, like he he's the reluctant one, where he's like, I, I have nothing to do with these boys. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Bozo. <laughs> At some point, Raxan needs to be fighting, and he goes like, On your right! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he was like in life. That. This. I'm Mr. Skeleton. I was born a skeleton. Born a skeleton, <laughs> die a skeleton. I can't <laughs> die. <laughs> Derek goes, all right, finally. And then takes out his two axes, and then Charges in here. That wasn't a pun at all. Derek does can't do puns. He's not a punny guy. No, he's all business. And attacks the skeleton. And a dog. A uh, reckless attack, if you will. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, you screw up that skeleton pretty bad. Okay. Uh, it's it's on one knee. Mm -hmm. You know, your two axe hits come in, knock off chunks of bone. Um, you know, its right arm falls off, and it's using its sword to kind of keep itself balanced and, up. And Derek is noticeably drooling during this whole affair. <laughs> so I want to ask Mr. Skittles if the, if his brothers have any sort of weakness. Uh, I have negative one for initiative. Is there a way I can roll for that and try to like get a little bit of a read on these skeletons? Um, I mean, you could do some sort skeletons. of uh, investigation or perception check. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, is that a 20? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Fishing pole? That's oh. 10. Uh, yeah, so, so... So I, do I learn anything? Yeah, you you know Here, the, whisk, whisk, the skeletons are actually uh, a little more Whisper vulnerable to... to... He wants to perform oh. the skeletons. Oh. Don't watch the skeletons. Skeleton. Yeah. Okay, Mr. yeah. Mr. Skittles is in uh, oh, there we go. So I go, Mr. Skittles, what do we do? And he goes, they're vulnerable to bludgeoning. Because of the bones. And I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, I, think, I think we're all nice. laughing He's now. Nice. He's slaying it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, well, so it's Axe, this hand, Mr. Skittles' hand. He's smiling, obviously. Ah, well, the teeth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I roll to attack. It's a 16. All right, yeah, your Axe goes you know, <clears throat> into him, busts open some of his bones, but okay. you're doing all right. Okay, Mr. That's Skittles goes, bone fine. you later. <laughs> like, nice. At this point, I, I give him kind of a half chuckle. Like, like, come on, ah. come on. The skeleton comes shambling after uh, Grimo and takes a big swing with his sword, but misses and kind of chunks down on the side of the steps right next to you. <laughs> Maybe next Patella fella. Ooh, wow. Nice. nice. Doesn't even. Yeah, just no, that's good. Uh, that, that worked. Like, it's sorry, a, it's I a don't stretch. have a tendency to be aggressive. It's just parts of the human body. I know, but he doesn't <laughs> have a tendency. <laughs> See? Oh. 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 I can't stomach all these puns because I ain't got one. <laughs> there we go. Wah, 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 wah. So uh, these two skeletons with bow, bows uh, both take shots at Grimo uh, and they go wide. Kind of mm. prison packet past his head. <laughs> Those arrows went wider than Shadowcock's hips. Careful with hips. that one. <laughs> He's like, gonna stand up. He's got a ghetto lingo. Mr. Skittles goes, quit stealing my bit! <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you you sharp piece of shit! He's a comedian. <laughs> Mr. Skittles is racist. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's our go-to humor. You halfling bastard. <laughs> Mr. Still, there's nothing to do with it. Shorty's still everything. <laughs> fucking mud feet. God. <laughs> do you fuck mud your feet. mother in the gyre with that mouth? This is Skittles. Whoa. Primo's mother. Run blue here. <laughs> That's his white bit. It's the only thing he's got. The other guy with a spear right next to Raxon uh, gets you for five. Ouch. What? Yeah, you're surrounded by two spear guys. You're getting dang good. Yeah. I, I, there's something I think that's attracting them to me. Yeah. <laughs> my... Over here! He's here! <laughs> Put my on it. But Grimo's gonna slit his hand and make and see what the blood does when what? he drops it into the black oh, stuff. Shit. Well, that's a dark shit to experiment with. Grimo's, he's... Grimo always wants to solve the puzzle in the middle of combat. Yeah. He does. Grimo, Grimo, Grimo loves, loves puzzles. puzzles. He loves skeleton humor. Grimo. He loves puzzles. These are just things people know about Grimo. Do you say yeah. anything or are you yeah, like being silent? Are you totally gonna be all torn? Uh, that's what just said. Maybe I say... Uh, Mr. Skittles, you're fighting like shittles. So Grimo got to solve the puzzles. Nice, that's but good. I don't know that this run. is gonna work. Yeah. I just, I just like trying things like this. Yeah. I, I like this more it than the, the blood, skeleton right to the next run. to you. I like the puzzles more than the fighting you're, you're, aspect. Lawrence is actually sorry. Decker is actually right. Uh, saying your, your clever uh, phrase there, you see the water undulating a little bit, but as soon as your blood hits it, it hardens again. Oh. This is a word puzzle. There's a, there's a spell in there somewhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Break it! Perhaps Mr. Skittles knows the right incantation to recite. You stole my bit, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm very hurt, although the wound on my back is closed up a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm like typing, and then when I get hit, it's serious time. So my laptop starts levitating. I start typing with both hands. And then a skeleton appears on the monitor, and a little cute lightning bolt zap it. And then I cast Thunder Wave. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. I agree. He is cool. <laughs> Grado! I need your help! My clothes are coming off again! How are you gonna help? Well, Shadowcock, just, we got this whole problem here with the skeletons coming alive and trying to fight us, and maybe you gotta just tear off some more clothes. He's well, got a can. boner! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I stepped on Mr. Skill's joke. Stop stepping on my bed! <laughs> you short bastard! Shadowcock, the only way is to cut off your panties. <laughs> oh, jeez, is she topless at this your point? Life, yes. She was topless, Yeah, your right? life depends on <laughs> it. Okay! She snips off her panties. And basically, at this point, she's totally naked, but also very, very scary, because mm -hmm. she's really tall, got these huge hips, and she's... Conjuring magic missile. All right, so your magic missile, you know, flings around, whizzes right at the back of the skeleton, and pops its head off. Yeah. Nice. nice. Looks like you lost your head. Not clever. That's not clever at all. Sorry, a quick question. Yeah. Did you uh, cross the panties off your character sheet, or did you pick them up so Grimo can repair them? <laughs> uh, when, uh, when truly, the important. She, she picked them up and uh, she hooked them like a towel oh, to, to Grimo, and they, they landed. Oh yeah, no, I'm sorry, they landed on her face. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Grimo, you pissed. <laughs> um, was that, I'm sorry, was that the end of your turn? Did you have that is the end of my turn. Right um, Derek, he rages out because he just got slashed that last time. Nice. So he goes into a rage and his eyes turn into hawk eyes. <laughs> his, cool. And his fur goes up because he has the totem of the eagle. Oh, oh. yeah. Um, so he's turning into some sort of weird wolf bird thing. Um, and then he just, with both axes, comes down hard on this guy. Sweet. So both your little axe attacks whiff him. Damn so, eyes! Oh. It's the damn eyes! I saw beyond him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy turns and runs back after the short man. Nope, he fell. Oh, 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 yep. He's oh. a clumsy skeleton. All right, so uh, swings right over your head, Grimo. Uh, yeah, he can't see anything. Yeah, he really can. That's good. Wow. Yeah, that's a good thing. Grimo's tactic. spry. <clears throat> uh oh. oh. Uh, he didn't quite get there. So uh, this guy takes a few steps forward and. Uh, Pulls back his bow, uh, shoots and connects uh, right on Grimo's uh, shoulder. Did the monsters go ahead of me? What? Oh, I did skip you. Yeah, I, I was. I was uh -oh. like, I was like, did I miss Raxan oh, going? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I have a plan. It's all happening simultaneously. <laughs> For yeah. five damage. Funny as you know. um, I can interrupt their turn right now if you want to go. Oh, that's and we fine. can finish their turn. Well, I guess none Just because you're over here yeah, did anything. The guys yeah. right next to you haven't gone yet. Oh, okay. Um, I need to save Decker, so. I take fine. my great axe and I hand it to Mr. Skittles. He grabs it. Does his right hand have to roll for that, or does he just? So I, I, uh, I take out my javelin and spin so that Mr. Skittles slashes, does like a slashing Ooh, attack across, boy. so that I can throw my javelin as Mr. Skittles goes, "See you tomorrow," and then I'm. <laughs> 
I'm staring, and then I, it takes me a second, and I go, oh! <laughs> the axe goes right over his head. Beam right. I, don't, I don't know if he's got a clever retort to that. Uh, he goes, curse you, ya buffooks! And he stares at Grimo. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stealing wow. his material. I mean, he's like, That's how it feels. And then he he's his other... <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you started this war! Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know that Grimo says that yet. <laughs> Grimo goes, <gasps> that Mr. Skills, he better not be a puzzle master, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I guess, like, the puzzle's gonna have to wait. Grimo's gonna take a, a swipe with his short sword at that uh, relative of Mr. Skittles. Like a skeleton puzzle. So, oh, no. We oh, no. Oh, no. So that would be oh, none of them, only none of them eight. Good. These are only all from Undertale. Eight eight. For Grimo's sword. Uh, so, yeah, your, your sword stab goes up between all of the ribs. Oh, no. St- and comes out, God. and you you got absolutely nothing there. Oh, no. I'm gonna bludgeon him with my mace it? right in the chest, hit him as Sweet. hard as I can. So so bludgeoning damage will actually double. Oh, because he's vulnerable to bludgeoning. Yeah, I heard Raxan shout something earlier. So. That was Mr. Skulls. Oh yeah. So I had a yeah. <laughs> Thank 20, him. Thirteen, plus uh, plus the attack bonus, right? Hits. Yeah, hits. Okay. You come come down with your mace, and it you know goes from maybe the shoulder down to the pelvis, just exploding the skeleton. Cool. Yes. All right. Oh. Nice. Right. How much was that? How much damage did you do? Oh. Fourteen. Seven. Fourteen. But then 14. plus the bludgeoning is times oh. two, I guess. Wow. Mr. Skittle says, "No guts, no glory." Oh, nice. Primo nice. <laughs> <laughs> glares at Mr. Skittles. And He's staring back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna type on my laptop again. And this time, the thunderbolts hitting the skeleton are bigger on the screen. Oh, nice. Well, since it's a forceful spell, just like a lightning bolt hits it and just every individual bone bursts apart and explodes out like a, like a fucking shotgun. So- All right, so Shattercock's gonna move up here and try her hand at her magic stick. Mm. Uh, as she runs, she's bouncing the entire time. But what she do to the skeleton? Um. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, yeah with, with your, your rod, you knock off its uh, shield hand. Like its whole arm oh, that was cool. holding a shield falls off. Okay. So basically Shattercock comes up and knocks the shield away right as I'm turning back. And then I just come in with both axes and one takes its, takes its rib cage off of its spine and the other one separates the head from the from the upper torso. Sweet. It goes into the ground, and as the bones are falling, I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> going for them. Um, and then I can also bonus action dash, so this guy gets blasted. And he goes, bonus action? Mm. <laughs> well, my tail goes between my legs. <laughs> the <laughs> iron like Grimo um, shaking, <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> so I, I quickly kick some dirt over this one, and then dash to here. At this point, I go, Mr. Skittles, what do we do? We seem to be in a bind. And he looks at me because he's trying to figure out the pun. And he goes, he just goes, throw me. I go, what? Throw me. I'm like, if you say so, Mr. Skittles. So I move back and I throw him so that he goes into like a swinging axe motion because he needs both hands. Yeah, you're a good puppeteer. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine like this is what he sees in his head, but what's actually happening is just like this thing's caught on his ankle. <laughs> and dragging it around. What does he shout? Uh, <laughs> He's got to say something. For bone and ire. <laughs> okay, all right. yeah. We're all confused. We all do that. Sure, sure. Sure. Yeah. So this bowman shoots at Miri and the, all of the bolts sh- Stick right into your shield. Right. Um, and through into old, your forearm. Good old shield. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that leaves the spearman guy who's going to charge up to Mary. With a little run, he's charging at you with his spear. Um, and, you know, with your, your shield sweet move, you, you knock him away, sends him back. Ooh, shield dash. Fight. Cool. All right. Wait, wait, was that my protection thing or no? My fighting style or no? Uh, that was just me. He just missed. Given, yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he missed badly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, Grimo. So, Grimo's gonna. Puzzle. I know, Grimo's so interested in that puzzle. Keeps hearing it in the back of his head. <sighs> Two skeletons are clink, clink, clink. Try a rhyme, Grimo. Try a rhyme. Use the skeleton uh, key. The information needs to, has, it has to be here for us. It has to be here for us to decipher. The riddle. We're just not seeing it. Or one of us has one of us has to have something that can decipher this. Well, it's a dwarven dwarven language, right? Yeah. I it's, was... a, it's a dwarven language, like because well, so uh, you said the dwarven car- like. So yeah, there, there's language. carvings all over the place. So this one has. Uh, we could get to this after battle. Right. Yeah. Now. 
But there, there's, there's a language you don't recognize at all on here that's kind of the big one up top. And then there, there's a similar carving of a, kind of the same character size in a couple of other languages, including Dwarven, uh, Draconic, and Elvish. Oh, but you can read Dwarven. Yeah. And I, I can read Draconic. So, there you go. Hey, you buffooks! What are you holding the agreement for? Tell me what that says! You know I'm the puzzle master, but I can't be the puzzle master of everything! I can read Elvish. Hey, you tried to solve it and all these skeletons yeah. came out and attacked us and we couldn't Just investigate Just tell me what it anymore. says! We're getting killed! Oh, no. <laughs> so, well, Shadowcock is free. I mean, I don't know if she can read from there, though. Um, it's kind of far I mean, away. Yeah. Well, five skeletons alive. You can move closer if you want to try, and, try and, like, and sit and decode it and do this like I mean, I'm, I'm puzzle fine with, right I'm now. fine with that, but the... Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Grandma wants to know. <sighs> All right. So I guess she'll move up a little closer. You guys uh, have strange priorities. I, I don't know. I'm trying to help out Grimo. <laughs> um, and she can only read Draconic. So that, the only thing I can read on, on there is the dragon. Got some handouts. Cool, homework. I can speak, read, and write. I like how all this is happening in the span of about three seconds. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll call that your turn. You're trying to look at, oh, geez. at the I gotta do this thing. puzzles, oh, bro. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Resume with my mace to try and kill that last spearman right by me. Yeah. 12 plus, plus attack and all that is 17. You got him. Here's the intention, and you tell me what rolls that's gonna require. Oh boy. Becker's gonna jump up here, hop to the stone. All right, do like a- Hop uh, over here, cast uh -huh. a spell in midair, and land with a cool thunder strike. Whoa! All right, what so, do I uh, Yeah, to do all Business your cool jump moves, uh, do an acrobatics or an athletics. Yeah, I'm gonna- Oh, that's gotta that. be a really uh, high number for, for you. Becker? Yeah. yeah. Acrobatics. It's like, and out of breath. Yeah. Somehow I have plus two in dex. I don't know where that came from. Uh, that's right, I, yeah, I was trying to assign scores and so, never mind. Uh, so acrobatics is plus two, athletics is minus one. Ooh. I feel like that would be a little more appropriate. Well, do do the one that you're better at. Oh, that's very nice. Acrobatics is normally performed in a desk chair with wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Air conditioning. Ooh, oh, that's about right. What is that? Three <laughs> plus two is five. Yeah. All right. So the first the the first part of the move you make is actually pretty successful. All right. Uh, but then you step on your duster jacket. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Backwards. Oh dang it! As soon as your head connects with the water, it solidifies, <gasps> and uh, yeah. you crack your head. Okay. All right, Shattercock. Um, so she's able to read one of the lines on that thing, and it says, uh, "Look for Ula or Ula, okay. like Ula Crown." Um, so she reads it out loud. She goes, "Look for Ula," and what happens? Um, so the the pool undulates nice. uh, a little bit. Uh, your feet start to stick in, and then it hardens immediately oh, again oh, because no. of its touch. I'm going to. We can meet somebody. Continue never to rage out. That comes out eventually. And attack yeah. this guy. That's a nine. Eighteen. Wow. Next. All right. Four for one of them, and then four for the other. Plus my strength, right? Yeah. Eight plus, so it's 11. <laughs> so one of your oh, axes uh, connects yeah, with damage. Nice. The other one actually takes off it's his like knee. Mm -hmm. So he, he falls to the ground. Not, um, not quite dead, but he's, he's on the ground. So yeah, I'm, I'm just doing a a, a skittle swing, um, <laughs> right. as we call it in the Sweet. community. Roll a 20. Uh, at this guy. Yeah, I'll shut up. I'll write up this. 16. All right, that one, that one connects. Okay, for damage, two plus three, five. All right, yeah, you finished that guy off. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, so Skittles jams the axe in slowly into him while whispering in his ear, going, I know what you did. I know what you did. And he kills him. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Because he slept with his wife. Yeah. Oh, and, and the other skeleton's just going, <laughs> <laughs> Decker will get up and there's like blood coming out of his ears and just like nothing happens. <laughs> Put his glasses back on. Uh, then he'll very carefully step on <laughs> and walk over it. And then try and take an exaggerated step. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I got to be 13. Yeah. So. Both hit. All right. Nice. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, baby. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. 11. And then they both get knocked back 10 feet, I think. So, so yeah, as, as they're knocking back 10 feet, they die, if you okay. want to oh, describe well, that. Fuck uh, you. Um, Similar but not as impressive as, as the other guy. Uh, I just type, hit enter, little lightning bolts hit two skeletons on my monitor. And then as that happens, 
two giant lightning bolts come from the sky and just explode these dudes like they're party favors. And I smirk. Fuck yeah. <laughs> With blood yeah. Yeah. down your forehead. Uh, Shattercock. Shattercock. All right, well, she's going to go in and try and finish this last skeleton off. Um, problem is that, let's see, I can't really make it to them. So I'll just do... You have range attacks, all right. I do, but there are more spells. They, they take more bludgeoning damage, so... Uh, I'll do... Acid Splash! Uh -oh. Which I don't really know, hmm. exactly remember how that works. Yep, your, your attack hits. Oh, it does! Fantastic. Okay. Four. Cool. And she just casts a little acid, drops right on. Oh, bones are so they corrosive. Start, they start smoking up. Smell terrible. They start smoking up. So yeah, his his left arm starts to dissolve and falls uh, off. Cool. So he's only got one arm for his sword now. All right. So I'm just gonna run in there, and then come around behind with both axes. Cool. So you've got serious advantage. Six. Come on, baby. Oh, oh one. Jeez. Oh boy. So it would be six, eleven. That doesn't do it. Okay, so maybe I tripped on one of these bones. <laughs> you were distracted by all the bones in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were swinging at the arm that dissolved away. Ah, the timing did work out. Can, I, can I throw my inspiration? Or, yeah, yes or no? Too. It's okay. <laughs> I want this battle to be over. <laughs> it's almost over. Raxon. Boy, uh, I guess I, I move up. What's what the Skittles, Skittles doing? Let's Skittles. We move together. We laugh. <laughs> He's full of humor. Oh, I got laughs. my javelin that I can throw up to 30 feet or 120 feet with this advantage. You can get him. I give him the javelin. Okay, so I throw my second to last yep. javelin. And I'll, I'll say he's actually, you have advantage as well since okay. the dude's surrounded completely. I also want this to be over. Uh, uh, oh. I mean, 30. One more. Fuck, you throw one more. Yeah, you have advantage. advantage. Oh, oh yeah. two, three. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Boy, these rolls are bad. 18. There. You go. there. Oh, man. Fuck. God. So yeah, your javelin, you uh, rear your back, hurl it, and it kind of just dribbles. Oh. Uh, nice toss, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> nice toss, John. Fucking loser. It comes in primo, like liquid hot fire. Whoa! Oh. A halfling, so I re-roll on one. Good. I'm not lucky, natural re-roll. One day. Oh, so 10 plus 5. Got him. Oh, thank oh, God. Right. And then for damage, it's uh, my d6. We don't need to roll these dead. Please. So it's 5. <sighs> yep. You want to tell us how you get them? Uh, I picture, <laughs> I look at the skeleton with just anger in my heart, and I picture Mr. Skittles. Mm -hmm. So not, they look exactly the yeah, same. Yeah. But it's still <laughs> but Skittles. It's still, it's they're still yeah. like a, And then I, I just, just, just ram through with my my short sword. Uh -huh. But then after I hit him, it changes again, and I see it was the innocent skeleton. But the, it's the same Skittles. face again, though. It's the same face <laughs> again. And I can't believe what I've done. The yeah. horror. He's and surprised, I, too. And I whisper, the horror. The horror. Sweet. It doesn't fall back into me yeah. when my yeah. mouth opens. Uh, well, he falls back, in my, falls back in my arms. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Skittles. Yeah, I was, hope you die in a pit of fire, Jerry! Oh, man. <laughs> Sweet. Well, um, I actually think that's probably a really good place to stop. Um, you all got 100 experience. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah, yeah. Um, really heavy. 100 experience? All those terrible rolls. Derek got some bones, probably. Yeah. Um, I don't know if yeah. you save any of those. I have them on my inventory. Okay. I added one times bone. <laughs> <laughs> one X bone. Uh, anything else anyone wants to take care of? I met a new friend. Sweet. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm All right, keep, yeah. I'm keeping them. Thanks for watching. You know the drill, you buffooks. Head to roosterteeth.com and become a first member to see full length episodes of Twits and Crits. And for more Mr. Skittles, join roosterteeth.com to become a worse member. <gasps> Mr. Skittles, get out of here, you bag of bones. You insult me one more time like that, I'll destroy your entire family. Understood. I'll kill you. <laughs> You're taking my jokes, man.